Hello and welcome to a Java tutorial. In this tutorial we will be learning how to use the this keyword in Java and how to use the this method in Java. Here I have a class already set up for you. The name of the class is sales. It has two properties, sales ID and sales amount. It has one constructor which is a default constructor that assigns both properties a value of zero. Then it has another constructor, which is an overloaded constructor that takes a parameter called SID, assigns that over to sales, but keeps the sales amount to zero. Then I have another overloaded constructor called sales that takes two parameters and assigns both of them to each of the class properties. And I have a display method that displays the values of each of the properties. To put this to test, we have a demo sales. In demo sales, we have a main method that declares or instantiates three objects of sales class. The first object calls the sales constructor with no parameters. The second one calls the sales constructor with one parameter. The third one calls the sales constructor with two parameters. And then we have successive display calls. In order to have the display calls, we, have, we are calling the display method in the class, sales. Now we will be running this. As we run this, you will going to see an output, where in the output you could notice that for the first one, since it's empty, it calls the default values. In the second one, it uses the sales ID amount that I am passing. However, the sales amount is still set to the default. For the third one, I'm passing the sales amount as well as sales ID as well as the sales amount, so they're both the values that have passed over. So, so far the class is pretty much set up as one of the other tutorials that you have watched in this Java tutorial sessions. Now let's go back to the sales class, and this is something that the Java programmers often do. Instead of having to remember so many names, they would call their parameter the same name as the property. However, this will confuse the Java compiler because it cannot tell the difference that out of the two sales ID, which one of the two sales ID is the properties and the other one is the parameter. So it turns both of them to the black text color as opposed to keeping the blue text color for the property. This is where the Java programmers use a special pointer of reference called this. As soon as I use the word this, it automatically understands that this is the property and this is the parameter. So what really happens over here is that in the demo sales class, as sales1 calls the constructor, so the this points to sales1. Similarly, in, when sales2 calls the sales constructor, and I'm in sales, it pretty much loses the context as to, well, if the sales, when it gets called, who is the caller? So to maintain this point of reference between the two classes, Java uses a special pointer called this. So this refers to whoever the caller is. So now similarly, if I run this program now, the output will be exactly the same. But this is basically helps Java programmer remember less number of names. I'll, I'll do the same over here, sales ID. I'll fix it down here, sales ID. Sales amount, sales amount. And you can see when I'm do making these changes, it's turning all of these to black color but now as soon as I use the this reference it understand well which one of the two is property and which one of the two is the parameter so that is one usage of the word this the other usage of the word this is if you notice the three constructors they're pretty much doing the same thing over and over again so what Java programmers do is they create one main constructor and they ask all the other constructors to redirect their calls to that main constructor. 
So mostly they will use the constructor that takes the most number of parameters and then sets the properties by that to be their redirect constructor. And each of the other constructor will simply make a this call and will pass as many values as required by the main constructor. So since I'm passing two values, therefore it will going to be passed over to the constructor over here. Similarly, I'm going to do the same over here. This, the first parameter is being passed. The second parameter is being fixed. So now when I go back to demo sales and execute, I get to see the same output which I was looking at before. However, this will going to tremendously help the Java programmer to redirect the logic to one particular constructor. This way, if he ever had to make any changes or introduce new code, he only will have to introduce and manage this code in this one constructor and would not have to go and update all the other constructors. Hope you would have enjoyed this video. Catch you in another Java session. Have a good day.